All right, what's going on, Tycoon? Super, super excited for today's video. We're going to be looking at ticker symbol uh, SNDL. This is Sundial Growers. All right, um, been watching this one a lot. Okay, I played it last year. Um, if you see last year, this was uh, one of the stocks that got short squeezed, and I happened to be holding, um, you know, a nice little position in it. So I was able to benefit off of that a lot. Um, short squeeze season is approaching us. Okay, if you guys do believe in the whole short squeeze and everything. It started in like de December and January of last year. Okay. So <clears throat> if there was going to be another short squeeze season, we're approaching that season. Does that make sense? Um, the, the, you know, the stock doesn't have to do that, but it may. Okay. So real quick, I'll give you guys a breakdown. We have a nice daily gap from 198 to 202. Okay. As we know about 90 to 95% of all gaps fill, it's just a matter of when. Okay. Uh, most of the gaps have been filling on SNDL, but there is this small gap down as well to 40 cents. So I've kind of been staying away from it um, just because of this gap fill it has to 40 cents. I didn't know if that gap was going to fill um, and then we start to recover. So that's what I've been watching. All right. So now that we went over the gaps, this orange line here is basically um, this is the one year, one day chart. So like for a year, basically, this has been a key support and resistance level. OK. Uh, it's been a resistance level here, resistance, resistance, support here, support, 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 resistance, support, and then support, 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 resistance, 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 and now it's our resistance, okay? So 0.78, 78 cents is a very um, important number for SNDL. If we can stay above 78 cents, then I think we're good, and we, we're, we're going to be going towards the gap fill to 198, all right? But below 78 cents... I think we're going to fill that gap at 40 cents more. OK, however, we do have two things that are looking pretty good. OK, um, so this purple line here, if you notice, is going up slightly. OK, so this is a slight uptrend where the stock made a low and then a higher low. OK, and then if you notice, the RSI was high up here and then made lower high. OK, lower high and lower high and i was saying that this area right here is the bounce zone because of this hidden bullish divergence because basically the stock price is starting to go up but the rsi is, so, is saying that the relative strength of the stock price is weak so when it's at a weak stock price um that basically means it's like undervalued oversold those kind of terms okay um so if the you know the price is getting lower but you know the the the, the strength or whatever is is lower and, it, and it's more in over uh undervalued oversold territory then you know that's basically a buy signal to people that like okay well i can buy this thing and it has plenty of room on the rsi to run up and the stock is already running up so you know that's a hidden bullish divergence that's a form of hidden bullish divergence so we did get the bounce off of there i've been looking for that bounce um we did get that bounce all right, we have two patterns going on. So in white, we have what's known as a falling wedge or a descending triangle, um, descending wedge, however you want to call it. That's a bullish pattern. So basically, we're going to need the stock to break out above here like it just did. OK, it just had its breakout. All right. And then we're going to need to see it open and close above here. So so it opened, closed above there. All right. All the candlesticks after this need to stay above this uh, triangle pattern. OK. So we can uh, get rejected, come back down here and retest it. But if we don't go back in it, we'll be good. The, the, the pattern is still valid. So if we if we shoot straight up, that'd be awesome. OK, yeah, you guys know that I wanted to go straight up to a dollar ninety eight. But um, if it does pull back, it can bounce off of here. OK, um, and then we'll go a little bit further into detail. This red lines right here and this white line, this is a bearish channel. OK, so basically. The stock has been um, the highs, all right? These are the highs and then the next low, uh, higher low or lower high, okay? And then we have lows, lower lows, okay? So the stock has been trading in this channel so far. Um, and then this white line is the direct middle of it. So as you can see, it's kind of like a support and a resistance, 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 resistance. Now I gave a little bit of support here, resistance, resistance, resistance. Now we're riding it as support. So we're on the top half of our bearish channel, which means that we're on the, you know, the bullish side of the bearish channel. And we're looking at possibly breaking out. As you can see here, it tried to break out, got rejected. Today, we broke out of that uh, descending wedge. OK, but it's still trading within that bearish channel. All right. So 
we broke this pattern, right? This is a bullish pattern. We had our breakout, okay? Now we need a bullish breakout from our bearish channel. Once we get the bullish breakout from our bearish channel, we need to get past 78 cents, all right? So if you want to enter some positions here and take profit at 78 cents, that's going to be a strong resistance zone, um, you know, where we might not be able to get above 78 cents. Okay, as you see, it's, you know, it fell down and it's been trading below and has not been able to trade above there um, since um, August. Okay. All right. Basically, since like last earnings, we have earnings tomorrow, I believe. Um, let me see here. On the 12th. Okay, so they have earnings on the 12th. So about three days from now. Um, so I believe that's going to be Friday. So they have earnings Friday. We could see a run up into earnings. And depending on what their earnings are and how the market reacts to their earnings, uh, we could see a sell off or we could see a massive rally. Okay. Um, so I definitely keep this one on you guys' radar. It's also a penny stock um, that trades options. Okay. So you guys can practice a lot of the strategies that I go over. Um, you know, you can buy 100 shares for $70, you can buy 1,000 shares for 700 bucks, and then you can sell covered calls against it, um, or, you know, you can sell puts if you guys want to sell puts. Um, you know, this is a cheap stock to try to practice some option trading strategies with, um, and then it also has a lot of potential, okay? If you're able to buy shares at 70 cents, um, and you buy 1,000 shares, and then the stock price goes up to $2, um, you know, then, you know, your $700 is going to be like $2,100 basically. So that's a pretty good profit chance right there. Um, you know, as you guys can see here, if we hit this low right here, which this is that gap fill that I was trying to get, um, you know, from 40 cents back up to the gap is uh, to the gap at $2 is about 405% return. That was real juicy. That would have been my perfect play if I could have got that gap fill at 40 and then just held shares however long it took until we got the gap fill up to $2. I don't care if it took a week, a month, or five years. You know, I would have just held those shares until that gap eventually filled, okay? Um, so the weed sector in general is looking very good to me as well. So um, Tilray, you know, there's definitely some other uh, cannabis stocks besides SNDL, Sundial Growers, but I do like this one um, a lot. It's very cheap, um, a lot of volume in it, okay? It was part of the meme stock rally. So this could, you know, if Wall Street bet uh, targets them again, you know, we could see the same thing happen again. All right. So just keep all this in mind and thank you guys for liking or for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And let me know if you want any other videos or a ticket request or a tutorial or some crypto analyzed, anything like that. And I'll be happy to get to it as soon as I can.